couple days. We remembered and out here around the edges with our luminaries. We remembered as we, we built our birdhouses and we wrote those things in there. We remembered the first night when we did talking sticks and we just said the name of the people that were so important to us and we shared that with other people in our circle. We remembered when we made our luminary bags um, many, many different ways in our activities we remembered. <laughs> We will have the whole rest of our life to remember, and that's important. What we want to do is you uh, to send off your balloon. is to think about something that you would like to say to this special person who's no longer here. And I know that there are hundreds of things you'd like to say to those people, and we can't call. Right now, with this one in the time that we have, but just think of something about that person um, that you really love. Something person that you hope will always be a part of who you are. Because they're not here to be that right now in a physical sense, but you can continue to live on what you loved about them as you live your life. See, maybe you want to think about that. Or you just want to think about um, something you'd like to say. So when we let go of the balloon, we're not letting go of our memories of that person. In a sense, we're celebrating who they were at the same time as we also miss them. It's another way to honor them. It's another way to love them. Another way to remember them forever. We've done it with candles. We've done it with balloons. We've done it with birdhouses. Here's one more opportunity. And so when I count to three, we're going to let go of our balloons. And all together, we're going to say, love you now. Love you forever. And then we'll watch the balloon fly. We're going to just a couple seconds here of silence. So you've had a chance to think about what message you'd like to send or remember today.